Hi, I'm here with Angie Bray in Westminster and we've been talking about Ealing, regeneration, uh, film and cinema. And um, following on from my last meeting with you, Angie, um, just wanted to get your thoughts on, on contacting Empire and the wider things going on in Ealing and, and how the Ealing cinema is very much part of um, that whole um, set of uh, activities. Well, the letter's gone to Empire, um, to people in charge. Um, I have welcomed the fact that they now say they are actually going to do something, which makes a change. But I have suggested uh, quite firmly that what we now want is a timetable, because I think, you know, they've marched us up the hill before and then actually left us high and dry. Mm -hmm. So um, we've had to sort of come back down again. So now they're saying once again that they, they, they are serious about getting on with it. Well, then I want to see the timetable. So that's what I've asked for. Um, and uh, we'll see what response we get. Um, I think that... Um, the campaign seems to be going very well because what people are sort of coalescing around is, is the concept of Ealing and film and that's really, really important because you know, Ealing is famous for film and that has really lit a spark, I think, with the community and it's great to see uh, so many people uh, coming together as a kind of real people's campaign to say we want our cinema in Ealing and, you know, it's, it's good. We've got, we've got loads of people, including some stars, I think. Um, yes, we've got, we've got Gorinda Chather. We've got, um, uh, as part of uh, Boris's uh, campaign, we've got, got Colville Ranger talking about how important it is. We've got some um, award-winning composers. So there's, there's lots of people really passionate about um, Ealing and, and film and cinema. Well, it's, it's a powerful message, and that will also be really useful at, at driving the message home. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but, um, you know, this is a really good example, if you like, of big society, people coming together and making common calls. And who knows? Might not even end up trying to have a community takeover the cinema if we don't get any action, and that would be interesting. I mean, I've always thought that uh, it would be great to have a proper people cinema in a place like Ealing. You know, and if we can't quite get that far, if we really can't get Empire to do the job, let's see whether we can't get some kind of a, a takeover by an independent um, sort of cinema set up because I've always thought that actually for Ealing it'd be good to have an independent cinema that's not part of a chain but look what we want is our cinema so Absolutely. That, that's for the future maybe um, but it's good to see the campaign fighting strongly and um, I think we've got more plans in the pipeline absolutely yes so good luck yes the, the story continues so thank you so much Angie and uh, let's hope we get that cinema back real soon thank you